Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel and it's your first time watching, my name is Aina Cole. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to be trying out the LA Girl Break Free Eyeshadow Palette. So here's what the palette looks like. It's really pretty. It has butterflies all over it. And then here are all of the shades in the palette. This one did get messed up in shipping and I had to repair it. So it doesn't look perfect. Um, but I mean, this looks like a decent palette. I believe this palette retails for like $15.99. So it is a super affordable palette. It is a nice size. So let's go ahead and just jump right in. Um, this is one of the palettes where um, the shades are on this plastic thing here, which obviously I'm not a fan of. So to start out, we're going to start out with the neutral shade up here in the corner, which this is called Delicate. It's like just a neutral brownish. And we're going to pop that in the crease. And I'm going to use my... MOTD Masterpiece Crease Brush to do so. Alright, so next I'm going to take my pencil brush and I think I'm going to go with this shade right here and let me just find out what it's called. It's called Simplicity. So I'm going to, again, I'm going to take this shade here, and the shade name is Simplicity. And I'm going to place that on the outer corner. Alright, and then I'm going to take my lavish uh, blending brush and just blend it a little bit. some of this shade down here which is called dusk so I'm also gonna place dusk on the outer corner just on top of that color just because it's a little bit darker So next, I think I'm going to go with this pink shade, which is called Wild Flower. So I'm going to place this shade here. It's called Wild Flower um, on the remaining part of the lid. I'm going to go with Whimsical, which is the shade here um, on the lid. And then I'm going to use Flutter on the inner corner, which is a pretty pink shade. So I'm just going to take the same brush, which I didn't mention it. This is the Lavish Eye Shading Brush. I'm going to see if this one will work. And if this one doesn't work, I'm going to just pick a different one. I think I'm going to use some of this Explore on the outer parts of the lid for a shimmer. So I don't want to put that really light shade out there, so I want to try to darken it a little bit with the darker shimmer. Okay. 
Yeah, I like that. It gave a, it gave a little bit of more depth to the lid. Um, I don't know. Maybe... I think I'm going to use this sky shade on the inner corner instead. It's like a lighter shade. It's kind of, it's kind of a blue tint to it. I know it sucks. You guys can't see the shade names. I really like it's perfectly placed on this, like below the shade. And I'm just like, why couldn't you just print it on the palette? I would love that. So I do like Sky better than my original idea. Um, I think that that is kind of a contrast to the pink rather than have pink on pink on pink it gives a little bit of a difference in shade and then extra depth in the outer corner with that dark shade so i'm going to take i don't even know what this is i'm going to take dusk and put that on the outer part of the lower lash line And then on the inner part, I don't even remember what shade I used. Oh yeah, now I do. I'm gonna put wildfire, wildflower on the inner part of it. Um, and then we're going to take, oh my goodness, whimsical and then explore on the outer part of the lid for our shimmers, just so that they match. I didn't pick anything out. Alright, I picked out my Wet n Wild color icon. This is the Ombre Blush. It's like an orange. And then for highlight, I'm just going to use my Wander Beauty After Hours. Yep, After Hours highlighter because it's sitting right here as it has been. But this video is about the eyeshadow palette, so it's fine. Alright, and then for lipstick today... Hmm. We're going to go with the Tarte H2O in the shade Cruisin. Just because I don't want to go with the super nude, but I also don't want something super red. So, it's so like in the middle. And then I guess we should do something to our eyes, right? Do we want to do mascara today? Do we like this as it is? Hmm. I think we'll just throw on some mascara and we'll just use this Ciate London triple shot mascara because it's sitting here because this is what I used my last two videos. I think I used the highlighter the last two videos too, but it's okay guys. It's okay. So we applied the mascara. Um, that mascara seems to be like really clumpy today. I didn't have that the last two times I used it, but today it was super clumpy. Um, but that is all. So we're going to set with our all-nighter setting spray. Okay. And that's it. So I believe this palette, I believe, was $15.99. My daughter's currently FaceTiming my mom, so I cannot look it up. So if it is something other than $15.99, I will put it on the screen um, so that you guys can know. But all in all, um, I know this palette wasn't more than $20, which is the reason why I got it. This is a really, really, really nice size palette. 
for the price that I spent. Um, and honestly, this is my first time using an LA Girl palette and I'm impressed. Um, super affordable. They have smaller palettes that are even cheaper than $15, $16. Like I said, this one was less than $20. Like, look at the size of this. This is a really nice size. Let me see. So, this is the Imagination palette. It's like an inch smaller than that. It, ha it has less shades than this. This retails for 25 but the size of the pans is also a decent size. It has a nice size mirror. I mean, this is a decent palette. And Ulta, I got this from Ulta. They always have coupons, so I mean, you can get this for a really good deal. I think I got what I ordered because I had 20% off coupon. So, yeah, I mean, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I like the shades. It blended nice. Um, the pink shade, I did have to build it up, but it is buildable, so you can do, like, if you just want something simple and something a little more sheer, you can do that with this. Um, the shimmers were nice. Um, I really liked this sky shade. It looks like it's, like, white in the pan, but, I mean, it looks blue on the viewfinder, but it looks white or silver to me, and then when I put it on, it looks blue. Um, the colors performed well. They have pigments. Like I said, um, the light pink shade was a little sheer, but it was able to be built up. So all in all, I, I will be using this palette again. Um, one of my shades did come broken. I fixed it up with a little bit of alcohol and it's good as new. So, I mean, if you ever get something like, I don't mind if one thing's broken, but like I got a palette before and there was like four shades that were completely shattered. Like I can't handle that. One shade, I'm fine. I'll fix it. It's no big deal. Um, I wasn't going to have also send me another one for one shade. I mean, like I said, this was I think $15.99 and I had a discount. So yeah, I mean that is really all I have. Now I can actually see my face. Um, but that's all I have for this video. So if you do like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with new videos. New videos will always be coming. Um, I try to put them on on Sunday. I did work all this past weekend, so going up a couple days late. But I will always try to put at least one video out a week. It's almost the middle of the month, so those subscription boxes are coming. So um, I did a thing. You guys will see when it happens. Um, but yeah, I'm getting Ipsy and I'm at least getting Boxy Lux. Um, and a couple other things. I'm not sure about Glossy Box and not sure about Lip Monthly. I still haven't gotten August Box, but we shall see. So I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you have a good rest of the day. Bye now.